We just heard a moving and inspirational message on Christian hope from Pastor Jackie. Well, I'm here to offer a pastoral reflection on a person of that faith, Betsy. Betsy, she was a minister. Not ordained, but determined. Because she was determined to be a vessel of inspirational Christian light to anybody and everybody at any time. Bessie was one of the first persons I met when moving to Wisconsin. She was a secretary at one of the largest congregational churches in the country. She handled my calendar. She used her shorthand skills to capture dictated messages. She typed correspondences and made manuscripts out of recorded sermons. Betsy was the first face that people would see when coming for a conference with the pastor. And she had the gift, the gift to discern high maintenance visitors, to make them feel that things would be better. And she could also discern the hurting. She made the office a place of hope. As a professional in the church, she saw Christ's followers at their best and worst. But she never gave up on the prospects of transformation from the gospel. Betsy made ministry work better for all. Because it was never about her. It was about Jesus and others. While she was enjoying the comforts of retirement, she, she took the challenge to help plant a church. She actually fell into that task. She was very adamant to me that she would not be involved in planting a new church at her age, and besides, she was retired. But she did, however, agree to be the recording secretary to help us out at our organizing meeting at the Radisson Mayfair Hotel. I'll never forget that night when the evening came for persons who wanted to join and do a new thing for God. She and Ted raised their hand and they said, we're in. Betsy always smiled and voiced optimism and faith. When I was recently at her bedside at the hospital, she knew what was happening. But her face glowed with the peace of Christ. We prayed, we embraced, we cried. But our tears, they were tears of joy. Well, she loved to dance. Now she is dancing in heaven. I've selected the passage from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, as a remembering verse for me as I look at Betsy. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Amen.